hey guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'll be making a not so basic chicken soup recipe i'm going to show you how i make asobao de pollo and asobao de pollo is a very rich and hearty puerto rican soup that is extremely comforting on chilly or rainy days so let's get cooking so here I have a couple of pieces of some bone-in chicken thighs that have already been washed and rinsed. And I'm just gonna pierce them with my knife so that when I go and season my meat, the seasoning will penetrate it much better. Then after that, I'm gonna give my chicken thighs a generous drizzle of some extra virgin olive oil. This will add not only flavor, but it will help my seasoning stick much better. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of some adobo. And after my adobo, I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt-free onion and herb McCormick seasoning. I really love these seasonings because since they are salt-free, I can add as much as I want without worrying about over-salting my food. They also have a garlic and herb seasoning that is really good as well. Next up is some ground annatto powder for some color. And just an FYI, you don't have to use chicken thighs. I do love and prefer dark meat chicken over chicken breast in soup. Um, so you can also use some chicken drumsticks and even chicken wings as well. So I'm just gonna rub in my seasonings and I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge for at least two hours. So now it's time to start our soup. Here I have a large caldero that is set over medium high heat, and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of some extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm gonna add about one ounce of some diced cooking ham, and I'm just gonna saute them for about two or three minutes or until they're nice and golden. Now that my ham is nice and golden, I'm just gonna remove them from my caldero and set them aside. And in that same oil, I'm just gonna grab my chicken thigh pieces from earlier and I'm going to add them in my caldero and I'm going to sear them on each side until they're nice and golden. It's gonna take about three minutes or so on each side. The goal is not to cook my chicken thighs through, it's just to simply brown them up for flavor. So now that my chicken thigh pieces are nice and golden, since this is soup, I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients in no specific order, but I always start off with sofrito. So here I have about two ounces of my fresh homemade sofrito, and the recipe for this will be linked in the description box below. Afterwards, I'm going to add the cooking ham from earlier, followed by about a quarter cup of tomato sauce. And after I have my tomato sauce, I just like to give everything a good mix. Now I'm gonna add about two garlic cloves that are nice and mashed. Then I'll add about, I wanna say half a cup of a combination of pepper and onion. Here I have some red bell pepper and some yellow bell pepper and white onion, but you can use any kind of bell pepper that you like. I know that the peppers and onions are already in the sofrito, but I like to add a little extra just for some color. So after I've added them in, I'm just simply gonna mix everything up really nicely. I'm gonna put the lid on my caldero and I'm gonna let everything simmer for about a couple of minutes. I wanna say between two and four minutes, just so that all of those flavors can just mesh together and the meat can absorb all of those spices and herbs. All right, so as you can see, a couple of minutes have passed and the peppers and onions are nice and soft. And I just find that everything is just nice and fused together and it just smells really, really good. So now I'm gonna add about half a cup of some chopped carrots, followed by a couple of frozen yuca pieces. Here I have about four ounces of yuca. You can use potato, which is more traditional, but if you're gonna use potato, 
make sure to add that at the end of your cooking before you add your rice. You don't want to add your potatoes at the very beginning because they will break apart by the end of your cooking. Next, I'm going to add about six cups of water. And then one chicken boujon. And finally, just half a packet of some Goya Sazon. You can also use some annatto powder, which I've done before, and it still comes out really good. And so after I've added my last ingredient, I'm gonna give everything a nice good stir, and I'm going to cook this on medium heat, covered for about 45 minutes. So about 45 minutes or so have passed, and everything is looking great. My yuca is nice and cooked through, and so is my chicken. And when you think that I've added all of the ingredients that I needed for this recipe, you are wrong. There is still one more ingredient. I'm gonna add about half a cup of some medium grain rice. You can use long grain rice, but if you do use a larger grain, make sure to reduce the amount that you use. I wanna say about a quarter cup to one third of a cup because since it is a larger grain, it will expand more. Then after I add my rice, I'm just gonna give everything a good mix and I'm gonna continue cooking it covered over medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes until my rice is nice and cooked through. So now that some time has passed and my rice is cooked through, that means that my soup is done. And just a note, now would be a good time to check for salt content. But as you can see, my soup came out so good. It is so rich and hearty and it just goes perfect for like a rainy day. So if you've enjoyed today's video, if you've enjoyed today's recipe, do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and to also hit the notification bell because a new video will be out every week. Until next time.